Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Update Error 0x8007057 in Windows. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just soft on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now I'm going to have several commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy one at a time. So we're going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click, left click on edit and left click on paste. We're just going to paste each one in one at a time here. I'm not going to actually say which ones I'm pasting. You can see what I'm doing on the screen. There's probably about 10 of them here, so we're just going to paste them each one at a time. There's also going to be a section in the description that says PowerShell command. That's going to be separate from this, so just stop after a net start msis server. So that'll be the last command we're going to run in this batch. So just as a reference point here. Okay, so once that is done, we're going to go ahead and close out of here. Now you want to go open up Windows PowerShell. So open up the Start menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to go back to Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, which you should, go ahead and select Yes. Now, as I said before, I have one command in the description of the video for the Windows PowerShell section. Again, right click on the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window, left click on Edit, and then select Paste. So it looks like I uh, typed it in twice there. We don't want to do that. So let me just go back, Edit, Paste, exactly as it appears. You can also spell it out too if you choose to do so. Hit Enter on your keyboard once you run that. It shouldn't take too long if any time at all and now that you've done that you want to go ahead and close out of here restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem so if you're still experiencing a problem you can go ahead and once you've restarted your computer here open up the start menu type in file explorer again I don't want to do this if you're still having a problem but we're gonna go open up file explorer select this PC on the left side and then go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive indicating where Windows is installed on. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. Now underneath Windows you want to go find the software distribution folder. So scroll down here, double click on that. And now anything in here you want to go ahead and delete. So just Control A on your keyboard or you just highlight over all of them, right click and then delete. If it says anything can't be removed, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal, it's probably just running an update actively as we speak, it's probably why I wouldn't be able to delete anything. So you can see there's one little file in here, so we're going to just skip that. Do this for all current items, there's check mark in there, skip. And again, it shouldn't take too long. Close out of here, restart your computer once again and then check for updates and hopefully that should resolve your problem whether you're attempting to install Windows or you're trying to run a Windows update whatever you're trying to do and you're coming across this error message hopefully this has been able to resolve it one further thing you can try if you really are in a pinch you could open up the start menu type in CMD best match command prompt right click on it and then select run as administrator 
another user account control, select yes. Now we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Again, exactly as it appears. And then I should also have it up on the screen as well in bigger font so you guys should be able to easily read it. Then hit enter your keyboard to run that utility built-in Microsoft utility that comes with Windows for the checking for different errors that may be present on your hard drive. So you would let this run. I believe I already have a scan running in the background so it's probably not going to actually fulfill this scan. It's probably going to tell me to restart the computer and then run it again. Which, you know, in your case, if you come across that, I would just restart and then attempt to start the scan again. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal from here on out. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.